section one completed. Looks really good. Now we're gonna pull out the bar stock and at the end of that operation, I had the turning tool come in and turn this front edge here and also clean up the stock uh, to true up the diameter um, around the bar stock. Because when we pull the part out, what we'll do is we'll reset our Z0 to this face. We'll indicate in the part true to this cleanup. And we'll also reset the C-axis to um, this flat that was milled um, during Operation 1, which we actually have on both sides here. So let's do that. Taking a moment to explain this process, if you were to make four or more of these parts, this would not be the most efficient way, simply because you can't get aggressive with your machining strategies. However, for one to three parts, you really can't beat it because of the simplicity of your setup. You can just hold the part in a chuck and rotate it around and hit all the sides. I worked as a prototype machinist for about five years and during that time um, I had the opportunity to help pick out some of the equipment for the shop and explaining a mill turn to my supervisor um, was difficult and having a video like this would have really helped out a lot. So if you're making, you know, let's say four more of these parts in production, then you want to be really aggressive with your machining strategies and remove as much material as you can as fast as you can. This setup is just not rigid. If you notice while I'm machining it though, I'm, I'm trying to keep it rigid the whole time. So I do rough and then finish and then rotate to the other side and then rough and finish. And I'm trying to leave that bottom raw stock material as support so when I'm roughing and, and finishing on, on side one, so the part's as rigid as it can possibly be.
so you can see after the part off operation it did leave just a small piece of the tab is still there um, something else to note is that I left five thousandths of material right here um, that way I can set it up in the bridge port for vertical mill and just uh, take that right off of there so let's go do that <laughs> 